This video will review how to set up countdown items and utilize the program to update information on sales items that are limited in availability. For example, maybe your kitchen only has enough prime rib for 20 entrees, that will be a countdown item for the night. To set up the countdown items, navigate to Point of Sale, Set up Sales Items. Select the sales item which you want to set up as a countdown item. Select the POS side tab and navigate to the countdown sub tab. Select the track countdown for this item field to enable the countdown. Enter the quantity available for this item in a quantity available field. You can also enter in the quantity spoiled here as well as in the countdown entry program. We will discuss this further later in this video. The rest of the fields will be updated as the item is used and sold. Use the Reset Fields button if you'd like to change the fields back to zero. To set up the countdown for this item by sales area, select the track countdowns for this item by sales area field. Note that this field is only available once a track countdown for this item field is selected. In the Countdown Settings by Sales Area tab, enter the counts for as many sales areas as desired. The Reset button is also available to reset the countdown. Note that multiple sales area accounts will not be visible from the countdown entry screen and must be managed at the item level. Select the Save button when you are done making changes. Now that it is set up, let's take a look at how to use the countdown items in Point of Sale. When starting a chat and adding in a countdown item, the count will update itself at the back end. When you are in a POS menu, the program will display a count in parentheses next to the name of the item on the button. If you void a countdown item, the program will ask you whether you want to send the item back to the count or not. If the item is wasted, you can select the No button and the item will not be added back to the count but will be voided from the chit. If a countdown item is spoiled, maybe someone tripped, navigate to Point of Sale, Tasks, Countdown Entry, and enter the number of spoiled items there. You can also hold the sale of the items here by selecting the Hold Sales column for the applicable items. Once you've made the changes, select Save to save them. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.